YouTube. Welcome to JF Hedge Trimming. My name is John and my name is Reed. And today we're going to be showing you how to winterize your banana plant for the BC Lower Mainland. Today we'll be showing you what products we're going to need and how we're going to do it. So let's start off by showing you our uh, materials. You'll need a sharp cutting knife, you'll need an X-Acto knife, you'll need a 3M Scotch uh, electrical tape. Uh, this is all purpose, all cold weather and I'll show you details on the YouTube notes. And also you'll need 5 16th bubble wrap uh, for your banana plant stock. Also, you're gonna need uh, some garbage bags, leaves, and you can collect those leaves anywhere from your neighbor's tree or wherever. And that'll be used for our demonstration as well. All right, so now we're ready to start the cutting process. Uh, Reed's gonna show where we're gonna cut it. And we're cutting off all the leaves right to the stock. And that's pretty much gonna be where the next new growth of year is gonna start. And so it's gonna start from this area here. So go ahead, Reed. Okay, perfect. So just have a look right here. Over here, you're gonna see there's a really center part. That's where the new leaves are gonna come out in the spring. And then this will be the stalk that's left over. We're gonna train this to be a tall banana. All right. When you use the bubble wrap, you want to make sure the bubble wrap, the actual bubbles are on the inside. That helps with the insulation. Uh, as it is getting closer to the winter, uh, this will help keep the plant nice and warm and allow a little bit of air circulation throughout the season. Now winterizing is a two part. The first part is protecting the stem from the frost. That's the goal of it. When there is no more frost, generally in the middle of March, then you can take the bubble wrap off. And so what Reed is gonna be doing, he's gonna go right to the top and We've already pre-cut a cap for the top so the top part doesn't freeze over. Now we're gonna use the tape. Just hold down the place speed. So again, we're just going to make uh, one full loop and then just spiral up to hold this in place. So it kind of looks like a candy cane. This is not going anywhere. And now for the cap. So Reed, if you can Hold that in place. We'll do this one more time. We want the bubbles on the inside down. Yep. Bubbles are all around. So once again, this will prevent frost from damaging the tip. Okay, how's it look? Perfect. Hello again everyone, we're back again with another winterizing demonstration. We just finished doing our first one. Now I'm here with Alex. Hi. And uh, we're going to do the same thing that we did to the other one. We're going to give it a little cut and go from there. So go for it Alex. Now you may want to notice that there's a little banana plant down there. It's a sucker off the main ones here. That's called banana pup. You don't have to use bubble wrap on that thing there. There's another way of winterizing it. It's just a cute little thing, so don't worry about that. So you can see Alex is making the first big cut there. And about the side. Cut another one? Yep. Definitely a little bit more smaller than they were before, but what we're going to be doing is, again, focusing on making them higher every year. Okay, now we can do the bubble wrap. So 
again, what we're doing is we're creating a, a double layer on each one, just like what we did with the other. And that's again to prevent any frost from penetrating the plastic through. And again, we have the bubbles on the inside. Place. Yeah, sometimes with bubble wrap, it can tear on you, so you better be careful with it. And if you find yourself having too much bubble wrap, take your exacto knife and well, you can cut it. Should be good. Should be good. Right. Again with our spiral. Do the other one. Now, in in BC, we're not really sure what each winter is going to be like. We may get a lot of rain. We may get a lot of snow. We just may get a lot of cold. So we kind of take a little preventative measures by going a little bit more than necessary because we want to protect our bananas and have healthy growth for next year. Just make a little cut here. And once again, Take our wonderful cap. Okay, and there you go. Okay, the final step in winterizing your banana plant is protecting the roots. Now we've already protected the stalks with our trusty bubble wrap, now we're going to protect the roots here. Now when you have a, a bunch of bananas close together, you may want to use a garbage bag for the insulation. We're going to show you why in a second here. So put it over. Okay, you can hold the edge here. Just carefully cut a hole there and then put it down over the stalks. Now the banana, little banana pup is in there. What we're gonna use to insulate that or protect it is leaves. And yeah, we're just gonna put a whole bunch of leaves in there. Just a light little uh, coating. We don't have to pack it down. Again, this will prevent any frosting from happening on them. And then we'll just... What we'll do is we'll just put a little bit of leaves around the base too. Generally frost won't go lower than two inches through this. So I think we've covered enough area to protect the roots of the banana. And there you go for this segment. Okay, well we're back to our first banana plant 
and we're gonna do the same thing and the reason why we're doing the same thing is because we have a little bit of exposure here so we're gonna put the garbage bag and fill it with leaves so here we go And then, lastly, just kind of protect all the way around. So, definitely, these roots will not be frosted and won't kill the banana plant. And that's, that's all you gotta do.